All right. I had to take the block down to get it uh, honed for the the crankshaft. Uh, and then once I got that done, I'd already had a, I guess, a, a standard uh, Race King kit here. Because when I first put this together, right, uh, three, four, and five, I could tighten those down and I could still turn it. Uh, but two, uh, you tighten it down and get a little rough. One, you tighten it down and you couldn't spin it at all. Um, so I ended up taking it down to the machine shop. Uh, he told me it was out of round. Uh, these two first two were definitely out of round. The other ones, you know, they checked quickly. So they look they look pretty good, but it didn't matter. Once you started honing it, you were going to get them all no matter what. So uh, to re-round it or make it round again. Um, so I got this dial gauge because I was using plastic gauge, which is, I mean, it's, it's good for... For what it is if you're trying to put a motor back together uh but what i was trying to do is trying to get as close to uh to point uh zero two three to zero two five as much as possible so i end up having to buy another kit so i have two of these this one's relief point zero zero one uh and i had to mix and match until i actually got the dial gauge uh to get me close to where i was wanting all the way down um and so now it's you know it's tight. These just the center one's tightened uh, to where it needs to be, and it spins over pretty good. Um, and uh, how I did that is I use this gauge here. Check the, the measurements for, just for people who don't know. I checked the, the width of this. It's like point uh, or it's two point five five something to that degree. I didn't turn this part on, so this is my actual uh, width. I tightened it down so it would move. I stuck that in there. Uh, so I knew where it was at and I zeroed it out that way um, I had to rock it back and forth so I got to where the lowest point I moved that lowest point to zero because you can turn this this gate of this dial right here uh, and then I basically stuck it in here and I went up and down until it went um, in between the two 2.5 which is I'll move this that's where my uh, lights in the way but it would say about and one first line is uh, 0 0.005, what well, says right there? Uh, so the next long line is 1, 15, 20, and then 25. So it's in between the 25 and the 2 is where I was shooting for. Pretty much sort of got on all of them. I couldn't get exactly the same thing on all of them, but close enough, right? So finally, I put this thing in. It still sp spins over very nice. So uh, next will be uh, the rods. And, oh, these are actually rod bearings here, our rod, uh, yeah, bearings, these were the mains. So this is the ones I got. These are the extra spares I gotta clean this up. But from mix and matching them, these are what's left over from the big one, from the normal size ones, or the standard. And uh, so here's what's left of the, the other ones. Not much, because these, I actually, I still had to use the uh, the relief ones on the first two here to still get where I needed to be. So, uh, I'd like to go that one. So, so I'm pretty happy where it's at. Now it's going to move on to the um, to the rods.